In this video, we're going to be talking about the Dynamic AQS Polarizer. It's an indoor air quality product that polarizes the air. And we're going to talk about uh, whether or not this actually does anything or if it's just a placebo effect. And we're going to talk about what the claims are, how it actually works. And I'll give you my two cents on this particular product. Now, I have this pulled up on my screen for you. So we're going to actually go through the brochure and show you what the claims are, what it actually says, and how it works, and how it's a little bit different than some of the other air products that are on the market. And I'll show you how that that contrasts and compares. Now, this is basically what the product looks like. Now, this is a one inch thick air filter um, that can basically go in to your return air duct. It's typically gonna go where the furnace is or where your air handler is. And the media, one of the things it says is this thing wires directly to your 24 volts. So what that means, the way that these air polarizers work, now this is a little bit different than an ionizer, but a polarizer actually polarizes the uh, particles that are going through the filter media when the system is running. And so what that does is that causes things to coagulate and clump together. So basically you have bigger dust clumps that are actually collecting. So this product will actually help pull more dust, more debris, more dirt out of the air because those particles are actually combining through this polarization process. Now the claim is that it's 97% efficient at 0.3 microns and then the efficiency actually increases as the media fibers load, meaning that as the load increases it actually does a better job of pulling debris out of the air. Now it has an activated carbon uh, media inside that as well. Now carbon, if you're unfamiliar with how that works, a lot of water filtration systems that are you know available for homes have a carbon filter media. Carbon ab absorbs things like chlorine, chloramine, um, any sort of you know impurities in the water water is absorbed by carbon and that's what its purpose is is it removes a lot of those pollutants and things so it says it's effective in removing smoke odors pollen dust and other contaminants this is low power consumption so 24 volts means that it actually plugs into the board on your furnace or your air handler now this system has a uh, disposable fiber media pads which basically it's like a regular filter that you would normally change so you're going to change this thing every three to four months however you're not changing the whole thing you're just changing the disposable pad so it's going to be have more filter changes than some of the other products out there like the train clean effects essentially that the way that this works is it has a 24 volts that basically feeds a power supply now because this is just a polarizer and not an ionizer and just has a 24 volt power supply that's powering it this particular system is not going to produce ozone like some other products so if you are sensitive you have asthma any sort of concerns in terms of being exposed to ozone uh, this system does not produce any sort of ozone like some of the other cleaners on the on the market um, the train clean effects product does not produce ozone either but some of those air purifiers the air scrubbers things like that that do produce ozone are going to be a little bit different category of air filters so if you're looking for something that's ozone free this might be perfect for you now a couple things i want to point out now one of them is that this thing has extremely low power consumption at 1.4 watts so like think of a standard incandescent bulb producing somewhere or pulling somewhere between 40 and 60 watts this thing is not going to put a dent in your electric bill whatsoever that's the least of your concern. In terms of phase velocity, this has to do with airflow, you know, how much this thing restricts airflow. So the pressure drop is not bad on this, meaning um, if you have a system that, or a, a filter that's too restrictive, it'll actually cause a higher pressure drop, which means your static pressure is going to be higher between your supply and return, which means that your system's working harder than it needs to, your blower motor's working harder than it needs to. Typically these times the systems are louder and your motors burn out prematurely because of the increased wear and tear. So this is gonna be something that does, you know, allows for more improved airflow. Now, is this a placebo effect or is, is it actually doing something? Well, the way that a lot of these systems work, they are definitely doing something. A lot of people that get these types of products in their homes will notice that they actually see more dust because what's happening is it's coagulating particles out of the air. So you're, instead of having, sometimes people will notice that it's like literally more dusty in the house. This is also true with any of the other products like the uh, Remy Halo UV products. Um, those also can have that side effect where you might actually find more dust in your house because it's coagulating the particles together. So your filter in theory is supposed to be grabbing more of those particles from the polarization. So it's definitely doing something. If you're really looking for the best ozone-free air purifying product, this is not it. This is definitely going to help. It's 
says it's 97% efficient at 0.3 microns. So that means, you know, one in 33 particles is basically at that 0.3 micron size is getting through that filter. Um, that's a fair amount uh, of dust. And so it does say that the efficiency increases as the media load, you know, increases. So it might take a while for that to work up. But bottom line is that that's what, you know, the efficiency is measured at. Whereas if you remember, if you haven't watched the uh, other video that we made about the train clean effects, um, I'll make sure to link that at the end. But that was coming in at 99.98% efficiency in terms of removing those particles. So it's going to do a little bit better job. This is still going to be something that helps. It's better than your basic just one inch chemical filter. Uh, this is definitely going to do a better job than that. So that being said, my two cents is, you know, if you're looking for a good bang for your buck, just like a, a cheap air quality product, that's a nice add on, but it's not maybe your top of the line filter, but you don't have to do any ductwork modifications or anything. Uh, this might be a good product for you to consider. So if you enjoyed this content, please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service like Denver, Colorado or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up to date list of the cities and states that we service. So you can stay up to date when we start servicing your Metro. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now. One is about the train clean effects, if you haven't watched that video already, as well as a few other videos that YouTube thinks you should watch. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.